Diefart Adaptive Body Diver. Uh, and we have done a launch uh, with uh, University of Malaysia Tunganu, uh, with, uh, in which they have invited the uh, uh, special community um, uh, of Tunganu, the uh, special community association of Tunganu to see how we handle uh, people with wheelchair, special disability people in handling them in the water and out of the water. Uh, this is our group photo uh, in <clears throat> 2016. Uh, uh, we had a program uh, at university with the University of Malaysia Tunganu um, before our trip to Bidong Island. Uh, just to share with you that Bidong Island is, uh, is indeed a beautiful island. Uh, uh, UMT has hosted us twice, a dive hut uh, twice. Um, to do programs and bring the special community to um, beautiful Bidong Island. Uh, as you can see, uh, Bidong Island has crystal clear blue waters and you're gonna see the video in a short while, yeah? This is one of, of our disabled divers called uh, Miss Nurul Fatiha. I'd like to share with you some news from UK Daily Scuba News. Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. Dive Heart and Kids Scuba have teamed up for a program that teaches scuba diving to hearing impaired children in Malaysia. Uh, the first program was held uh, in late September this year and it uh, went down so well with both teams that they actually plan to do it again. So on the day, 10 children had an induction into the awesome world that we all know as scuba diving. Uh, they also did some quizzes and other fun beach activities. Uh, they of course had some time in the pool game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then once the children and the instructors felt positive, then they went out and completed a shore dive. So both parties enjoyed the day, and all the children seemed to actually enjoy scuba diving, which is of course just amazing. Uh, the founder of Kids Scuba said, I'm thrilled to say that the events like this not only build bridges between us, but also reinforce our hope in humanity. If all of us with different abilities can respect each other like we did at this event, then, you know, we can really imagine the possibilities for a better tomorrow. That's a really nice message. Message. Yes, yeah, it's a fantastic message to put across. So let's hope that they continue this partnership and they sort of introduce more and more people uh, from all types of backgrounds into the amazing underwater world of scuba diving. So great work to Dive Heart and Scuba Kids. So scuba diving is one of the very few activities where deaf kids can really excel because you don't really need your hearing too much and they, I'm sure they can communicate far better with the hand signals than most of us can. Yeah. So you, all really, all you need is just a dive computer with vibration alarms and um, someone to check for leak. Uh, that was uh, from the Daily Scuba News UK about our dive hard program in Mimpi Parantiam Resort. I would like to share with you some of uh, our uh, program from, from last year and this year that uh, Mimpi Parantiam Resort uh, is a very nice resort in the island of uh, Tunganu. Just to share with you, Tunganu has uh, some beautiful islands uh, which uh, most of it are a dive destination. And uh, let me share with you the news from our TV3 news. Berkesan sebagai proses pemulihan dan latihan terapeutik khusus pada golongan orang kurungan upaya OKU. Bagi menggalakkan usaha itu, NGO Dive Heart Malaysia sejak 2014 aktif membantu sehingga melahirkan dive master OKU pertama di negara ini. Ikuti laporan Muhammad Islam Abdul Langa yang menyelami impian golongan itu. Kebiasaan yang cacat pendengaran dan bisu, namun berjaya melakukan sesuatu yang jarang dicapai oleh manusia yang normal. Gary Goh Kang Yong, 57 tahun, bekas atlet menembak negara ini, kini ditauliahkan penyelam pemandu penyelamat We brought in one of the, um, the only uh, deaf and new dive master in, in the region, Mr. Hasil Gary Goh. He used to be the Malaysian Paralympic uh, shooting team. Itu dengan memberi peluang yang sama kepada insan <coughs> senasibnya. Dia 
Beliau turut merealisasikan impian lima pelajar OKU dari Sekolah Pendidikan Khas Besut Terengganu sebagai penyelam skuba bertauliah. Gary bersama NGO itu dan mimpi resort Pulau Perhentian melatih pelajar itu secara percuma. Mula-mula takut, namun selepas mendapat pendedahan dan latihan, mereka akhirnya mampu menyelam sebelum ditauliahkan. Saya sangat seronok menyelam ingin malam utama. Saya dan saya haram nanti saya akan jadi menyelam. Pahil dan dan kajar orang, orang senakib dengan saya. Kami dari pihak Dive Heart, Uh, selalu uh, mengadakan kursus untuk uh, penyelam bertauliah dan juga jurulatih uh, yang ingin belajar dan menimba ilmu untuk cara untuk mengendalikan penyelam-penyelam OKU. Uh, dia dipanggil uh, program uh, Dive Heart Adaptive Body. Turut serta penyelam OKU dengan masalah sarah tunjang selain ada yang kudung kaki akibat kanser tulang. Program ini disokong oleh Jabatan Rehabilitasi Perubatan dari Pusat Perubatan Universiti Melaya, PPUM. Penyelam OKU yang lumpuh ini seronok dan selesa berada di dalam We air kerana dapat mengurangkan kesakitan neuropatik uh, yang ditanggung mereka. Kesan kelegaan itu juga mampu berterusan sehingga dua minggu selepas aktiviti selaman mereka. Pada Oktober ini, Pulau Bidon Terengganu akan menjadi tuan rumah program Dive Heart OKU Antarabangsa yang akan dihadiri oleh Presiden Dive Heart Jim Elliot dari Amerika Syarikat serta ramai tenaga pengajar selam skuba pelbagai negara serta penyelam berkerusi roda. Di Malaysia, ketika ini lebih banyak pusat selamat skuba beroperasi di pusat-pusat peranginan. Bagaimanapun, mereka sukar mengambil pelajar-pelajar orang kurang upaya kerana masalah komunikasi. Sasaran 2020, Dive Heart Malaysia akan melahirkan pemandu penyelamat profesional atau dikenali sebagai Dive Master Profesional untuk melatih lebih ramai orang kurang, -kurang upaya untuk menjadi penyelam skuba profesional. Muhammad Isa Abdilangah melaporkan. That, that was our program uh, that was uh, featured in Malaysia TV3 News, Prime News at 8 p.m. Uh, here we also like to share with you on our program uh, that uh, we have also um, given opportunity to one of our uh, parliamentary uh, senator, Senator K. Bathmati. Uh, for our scuba tryout, and she she loves to go underwater for scuba diving because it releases her neuropathic pain. This is one of the benefits for zero gravity with our dive heart and scuba diving program. Uh, here, I would like to share with you one of our, one of our program at uh, Bukit Kiara Club in Kuala Lumpur. Um, uh, we often than not before our island trip, we will we'll invite some of our uh, disabled participants our special uh, participant to do a refresher program at the pool. Uh, this photo and the video is uh, credited by uh, Imran Ahmad, our Nikon ambassador. These are some of the videos that um, our PWD uh, participants were practicing for their movement in underwater. And we do our adaptive body training as well for refresher for uh, all our volunteers. So they remember what are the procedures and the techniques that they should go along. This pool has a depth of 4.5 meters, one of the latest uh, state-of-the-art scuba diving, dedicated scuba diving pool in Kuala Lumpur. Kalau orang lain yang boleh buat, kenapa saya tak boleh buat? Kita kena, our, kita kena mencuba, uh, baru boleh tahu. His name is Riza Faisal. Final got into the patient with the University of Malaya Medical Center. 
Pemuda ini lumpuh separuh anggota badan akibat kemalangan jalan raya pada 2001. Sejak daripada itu, kehidupan Luzisa Faizal Muhammad Kanda terus berubah. Dia tidak lagi mampu berjalan seperti orang biasa. Namun berbekalkan semangat ingin berubah, Riza yang kini berusia 34 tahun segera bangkit daripada krisis hitam yang dilaluinya. Saya terlibat dalam kemalangan jalan raya pada umur saya 18 tahun. Totally berubah, 360 darjah punya berubah. Sebagai insan yang dilahirkan normal, tentunya kecelakaan yang menimpa diri sukar dihadapi Riza. Permulaan itu memang susah, tapi bila dah lama-lama, dia dah jadi biasa, tak ada masalah. Kini selepas 16 tahun, Riza tidak lagi kekok menjalani kehidupan sebagai seorang insan istimewa. Bersihkan dia. Okay, hi. Sekarang ini Lina bersama dengan uh, Riza Faizal iaitu seorang uh, penyelam bertauliah Badi Scuba Diver dan sekarang ini sebenarnya dia tengah nak siap-siap untuk belajar uh, diving sejak hari So yang paling penting nak tahu macam mana uh, seorang uh, OKU boleh uh, menyertai aktiviti lasak seperti uh, Scuba Diving Penggunaannya saya dipelawa oleh Prof Nazira iaitu Timbalan Pengarah di PPM dan hantar WhatsApp pada saya yang mengatakan Tuan Syed ada nak cari OKU untuk program Dive Hub Bila saya dapat WhatsApp tu, mula-mula rasa eh, ini peluang baik eh. Ketika ditemui di Kiara Dive Center baru-baru ini Riza yang dilatih Duta Dive Hub Malaysia Syed Abdul Rahman Syed Hassan mengakui teruja saat diberi peluang mengikuti sukan yang difikirkan mustahil bagi orang sepertinya. Lepas 4 bulan training, kami dapat pergi ke Pulau Putih Oman dan dari situ kami dapat rasa macam mana dapat buat open water dive. Shark nampak pun mata sendiri. Mula sebelum dive, takut kan nampak shark. Tapi bila dah dalam air, ui, shark! Macam ada seronok. Oh. Boleh pergi kejar shark. Oh, shark tu pun malu kot. Dia lari. <laughs> Bagi Riza sendiri, sebagai penyelam profesional dalam kalangan insan istimewa, aktiviti seperti ini mampu membentuk disiplin diri. Yang saya dapat rasa dalam air ini, saya rasa seperti normal kembali. Nak bergerak, tak pakai wheelchair. Saya ada neuropathic pain, tapi bila dia dalam air, dia macam relax saja. Takitan tu kurang. Lah. Program Dive Hub ialah satu program yang memberi peluang untuk golongan khas merasai pengalaman menyelam dan juga water therapy di dalam air. Di mana? Untuk Nina yang uh, first time mencuba ini sebenarnya Scuba Diving bukanlah sesuatu yang uh, sangat mudah dan setelah ini Nina sangat uh, kagum dengan pencapaian uh, di Safai saya sendiri yang dah diiktiraf menjadi uh, penyelam bertauliah uh, Pedi Scuba Diver dan apa-apa pun aktiviti sebenarnya memang menarik dan kurang uh, kena cuba sendiri uh, Scuba Diving That was our special participant, Mr. Riza Faisal, his spinal cord injury uh, patient. He had an accident at the age of 18, a motor vehicle accident that le- left him paralyzed. And here is an exemplary photo of him in action underwater. You can actually see him nearly standing up while uh, throwing the torpedo underwater. He often has and then not has uh, uh, consulted in me. He said, I like scuba diving. It's the only time that I can feel my legs back because he's paralyzed waist down. Uh, here is one of our, our program in which we have brought Riza Faisal to one of the renowned uh, island dive destination in the world, um, uh, Sipadan Island in Sabah. Sipadan Island is a beautiful island in which uh, it has uh, Um, um, biodiversity of marine life and uh, it has lovely dive sites, many dive sites for the beginners and advanced and also some uh, hardcore divers allow us to share with you uh, dive hut in Sipadan Island. Sun come.
everyone on the um, international uh, media uh, that was featured for Dive Heart in Malaysia. Uh, we were featured in uh, ABC 7 News, ABC 8 News, Fox 40 News, and uh, Tribal Wire News as well uh, during our program last year in Dive Heart Making Waves by collaborating with Tourism Malaysia. We'd like to thank you, Tourism Malaysia, on, the, on, on this effort. Uh, we have the Vice President of Tourism Malaysia, uh, Los Angeles here attending the program today. And we were also featured in the San Diego FM radio station, uh, Session News, KHQ, um, CNBC News, as well as the uh, Scuba Board US News. We were also featured by friends uh, uh, abroad, um, uh, in featuring our program and promoting Malaysia. We were featured in X-Ray Mac Denmark about our program in what we do with Dive Heart and also a special community in Malaysia. We were also featured by our friends uh, from the Emirates Diving Association magazine in Dubai uh, on, on, on promoting about our program in Mimpi Resort, Perhentian Island, Tunganu. And we were also featured in Dive Lock Australia magazine, Austra Australia based in Melbourne. Uh, this was very recent about our program in September, last September. And uh, without further ado, uh, we have online here uh, our co-presenter, Mr. Ernest. Uh, Mr. Ernest will share with you about his program in uh, uh, Dive Heart Borneo program in Kuching Strawa. Over to you, uh, Ernest. Thank you, Said. Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. I'm, I'm Ernest. 
I'm here in uh, Sarawak, which is, is actually a state in Borneo, uh, and also a Malaysian part of Borneo, actually. Um, well, uh, before I go, before I start, I'd like to welcome um, the Tourism Malaysia team from US and also uh, Vancouver office. I can see that uh, they are all in here. <laughs> it's good. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go for, I'm going to start sharing my screen. And I just bear with me because I'm having a bit of a technical issue with my uh, screen here. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Um, I'm going to brief you guys, everyone, on um, dive heart activity in a uh, straw here in Borneo. Um, okay, I started. Um, I was introduced to dive heart um, where I, I guess around 2016, 2017 uh, by site. And then um, what gets me going into dive heart program is that. Uh, it actually extend my horizon to give what we can we as a, a scuba diver as a dive professional that what we can do for um, for those who are who have interest in dive, in scuba diving yeah so this is an overview of uh, our activity since 2018 uh, until today. So we have uh, we have done pool programs for adaptive candidates. We have been doing a lot of uh, volunteer training also, presentation and constant sharing of dive card. So I'm gonna go into details of what it meant. Eh? Okay, for pool programs for adaptive candidates, we have done, a, we have done tryouts and scuba programs, including scuba tryout for people with uh, impaired hearing. Um, this is this is one one of the uh, fun groups that I dealt with uh, because uh, what happened was after the dive, they came up and they told me that they were actually, I'm actually uh, of the same level with them underwater which which is true because when I'm underwater we can't talk so we use hand signal and they are doing they are doing better than me underwater then the next program that we did which was um, the next few program actually was uh, touching on kids we did kids with cerebral palsy we, we did kids with uh, visually impaired um, and also um, in that group, the visually impaired on the right hand side, there's actually one of them is uh, speech impaired. Um, they, are, they, are, they are very different. They are very different. Visually impaired, a lot of, not, let's not talk about them, but then when on normal situation, on normal days, divers will ask me, why would a visually impaired person wants to go diving and you'd be surprised. They too want to feel what's it like to be underwater actually. And we had fun, we had fun. Uh, at the bottom, you can see that um, we tried to do, I use the word try <laughs> because we tried with the autism uh, children. Uh, we are not that successful yet, but maybe in a year's time, I, I can show you something. Yeah. And uh, last but not least, the spinal cord injury patient. Um, we did a lot of this um, category. And uh, ongoing right now, we have, uh, we we are, there's, a, there's still a few that's still in progress to, in progress meaning that we are trying to get them to be certified 
either improve uh, whether, uh, as, a, as a scuba diver or, or even open water diver. And if they can't do it, they can't go there yet, we, can all, we always have pool program that can get them certified and keeps them diving. Um, talking about doing all this training, it's never a one-man show. It's never a one person. Um, so dive um, volunteers are very important. So we have basically two types of volunteers. In, so we have the uh, certified divers who are interested to obtain um, special certification that will allow them to handle or dive with adaptive uh, divers. Dive, as, uh, dive Heart does have that certification. And our very first certification done in Kuching was by site. Um, on, the, on the left, you can see the picture of uh, our pool training. On the right, these are for non-divers. And for non-divers program, um, we have our experienced divers um, or experienced volunteers who comes in constantly to help to do it. There's so many things that actually, as a volunteer, you can play, uh, roles that you can play. Um, simple thing as sharing it on Facebook. You don't even have to be there. It's actually a volunteer. Okay, next um, presentation. Again, um, we, need, we need to create a lot of awareness. So I've been, uh, for the last two, since, again, since 2018, we've been going around uh, associations, uh, clubs, individuals, uh, corporates, co corporates, offices. Uh, in fact, any way we, we can any way that, uh, that allow us to do it. And we, we did it in various or uh, different languages and even our own local dialects. <laughs> yeah. We just want people to know that there is actually um, what Dive Heart is all about. Because Dive Heart can provide scuba therapy that can help people um, with disability. Um, people Normally, when people with disability, they feel they are outcast, but actually they are not. They are not different than any one of us. Um, constant sharing. I, I run a dive school, and I, we, uh, we do dive trips, we do dive courses. And I've been sharing my, I've been sharing dive hard during dive, my dive event, which on the left, you can see that it's actually a petty dive uh, event, but during social gathering, um, social moments, we instead are talking about dive hard in dive trips and even for courses. I think I've been, I've, I've been selling dive hard more than the courses nowadays. <laughs> Okay, um, so that's, that's basically that's what we had been doing um, since 2018 to now. Um, I'm going to show you a video of one of our candidates. All right. Okay, this is Frederick. He suffered from, um, he, he's, he's actually 20 plus years old, started working for about less than three months when he was, uh, I think about 22 or 23 years old after, after college. And he met with an accident that uh, he has an injury on his spinal cord that restrict him to actually walk. Uh, walk, And he was uh, on, uh, on a wheelchair for a while. After going for, for therapy session for two years, he went into depression and he was reluctant to do a lot of uh, uh, exercise, uh, exercise that he should be doing so 
the doctor, a doctor friend uh, recommended him and he came to us. So we, we did a tryout for him. And after a few trial, the parents decided that yeah, he wants to sign up for a scuba program. So I'm going to show you what happened on his first day of the program. That was uh, that was uh, Frederick, and uh, just to give you an update, uh, recently uh, we did the uh, final dive uh, of the program for Frederick. He actually tried to walk from his from the car um, to the lobby of this the pool, the swimming pool. It was great to see he, that um, he has improved actually. Okay, up next is um, I'd just like to share with you our current facility that we're using, uh, which is uh, the two public pool that we have. Uh, not, not they are not the only one, but the two that we are using, the two public pool that we are using in the city, uh, is just twenty minutes drive. And they are disabled friendly. Yeah. Water is always warm, uh, and we have the uh, advantage of the shallow water area for entry. Talking about this facility, um, year twenty twenty, we came. We entered into a partnership with uh, an international school in Kuching, which has offered dia. Uh, Nearly built swimming pool for dive hard program to be used during weekends. This is a big advantage for us as um, when it comes to public pool, there's always the public <laughs> that uh, that is taking up the spaces. Yeah, but uh, for with this with the pool that we work with this with the pool that we have we are going to have, we will be able to have. To be, to be able to use um, to be more focused, I'll say. Yeah. And um, this is the pool, it's shaded. And you can see on the right, um, there are shallow areas also. And um, if even we can even do kids in this pool, which is and this 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 school, this pool actually, they have changing room toilets that. Um, is called is considered a uh, handicap um, friendly. Yeah. Another advantage working partnership with the school is that they are having their A level students or to become volunteers. So this will give us a constant supply of volunteers 
that uh, when we are doing programs, uh, by far programs in the school. So for, as um, to share with you that uh, doing programs um, such as dive hard, um, we actually need a lot of uh, support from volunteers. They are one of the key factors for the success of the, of our programs. Uh, next, I'm going to show you a video of. Um, this is a test. Say it's a testimonial um, of uh, from one of our volunteer. I'm sorry, I can't play it through PowerPoint. So I'm just play it directly from. Here. My name is Caroline, and I'm one of the adaptive uh, dive buddies for the Borneo uh, dive art team. So when Ernest, uh, an instructor dive friend, asked me to become a volunteer and to do the dive hard training, I was keen and very curious um, how to uh, adapt diving for persons with all kinds of disabilities. Because I know they frequently um, need help in their activities for daily living and it seemed very brave to me um, that they there to take the step to learn scuba diving. But actually what I realized later is that um, I was like disabled in my uh, belief. And I had to, um, when I heard uh, Jim Elliot, Elliot talking about uh, imagine the possibilities, I knew I had to believe in that. So we started Dive Hard Borneo in 2018 and I've witnessed the transformation uh, in our candidates. So the water is a forgiving, weightless uh, environment offering zero gravity. So our candidates um, who struggle with uh, physical limitations, they feel very um, limited in their mobility on land. They are able, they express to us that they feel so free to move in the water. So for example, um, I have uh, seen one of our candidates who can hardly move his, um, one of his arm and his legs. But in the water, uh, we were quite surprised to see that he could pedal with his um, arm. And as well, both his legs, he could kick quite well. And before uh, joining the dive heart um, team, I could never have imagined that um, children who have cerebral palsy are adventurous and keen to learn diving. I noticed uh, that their balance and their breathing control uh, improved. And uh, of course, not to mention their sense of achievement and self-worth. Interesting as well to notice is that um, some candidates, they set themselves goals. Uh, for example, in the last few dives we have a man and usually we bring him to the side of the pool with a wheelchair. But the last few dives he wants to walk himself to the pool, sit down and only needs a little bit of help to go into the water. We've noticed as well for us as uh, volunteers that our own dive skills um, have improved and are improving when we uh, assist people with different uh, abilities. I like to conclude uh, that our aim of the Borneo uh, Dive Heart team is to share our passion for scuba diving with our different abled friends and we really like, we hope that other people who like diving uh, will join us in the future. Uh, thank you. All right, that would be from uh, Caroline. She's one of our uh, volunteers in our case, and also one of our adaptive type team. Um, for, for our future plans um, for dive hard and adaptive scuba diving is that we are going to upgrade our dive station to be handicap friendly, meaning that we're going to have a big toilets, shower room, changing rooms for them to use. We are also going to build a special ladder for water exit uh, on our dive board, which if it's successful, 
we are going to share the design with all the dive operators around the world who wants to do it. Uh, and uh, of course, um, sending our dive, our board crew to be more aware of um, how to handle adaptive divers. Yeah. So that, this, will, this will conclude my presentation for today. And for all of you out there, um, if you can be part of such training, please do join. Especially if you see the Dive Heart logo, uh, you can be assured that uh, you are going to gain a lot from it. And for those of you who want to travel to Malaysia, we have a beautiful country, and uh, we, you will always be welcome here. Okay, thank you. Sai, would you like to take, um, I'd like to hand over back to you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Anas. Uh, that was Ernest uh, from uh, Dive Hut Borneo, uh, based in Kuching, Sarawak. Um, this is some of the programs that uh, he has done. Uh, they are a very active uh, uh, Dive Hut team and Dive Hut volunteers, in which involve a lot of the uh, physiotherapists, uh, doctors, and also the educational team. Uh, just to share with you that uh, Dive Heart in Sarawak was featured in the uh, Chinese newspaper front page. It's not always that you get a front page coverage, yeah? ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here, we'd like to share with you a wrap up uh, of the, our program. We have done our program in Trangganu with UMT. We've done our programs in Kuala Lumpur, Tioman Island, Pahang, uh, in uh, Kuching, Sarawak, in Marble, Sipadan Island, Sabah. And uh, we would like to share with you a special video. This video was uh, by Dr. Yu, uh, specialist doctor, rehab doctor in the University of Malaya Medical Center. I will run, I will climb, I will soar. Last September, MVP, Foreign Terms Resort in Tugan. Beautiful yeah. island in Tugan. Jumping out of my skin, but a cord. Yet I believe it. The past is everything we were Don't make us who we are So I'll dream until I make it real And all I see is stars It's not until you fall that you fly When your dreams come alive, you're unstoppable Take the shot, chase the sun, find the beautiful Where we'll grow in the dark, turning dust to gold And we'll dream it possible the bottom to the top We're sparking wildfires Never quit and never stop The rest of our lives From the bottom to the top We're sparking wildfires Never quit and never stop It's not until you fall That you fly When your dreams come alive You're unstoppable Take the shot, chase the sun Find the beautiful Uh, there was a special video by uh, Dr. Yu. He's a special medical rehab uh, doctor in UBC Malaya Medical Center. Uh, to wrap up, everyone, we welcome you to Malaysia. We have uh, various program in Malaysia, and we have the facility in training, a special community uh, in Kuala Lumpur, in uh, Kuching, in various islands, which has ramps and railings to accommodate uh, wheelchair users. Here, we'd like to share with you a video of the wrap up of our Malaysian dive destination with our dive hut facility.
and gentlemen, that was our wrap-up presentation about our our program in Malaysia. Uh, here, I we would like to invite uh, one of our uh, dive hard volunteer, uh, Miss Majida. Are you there, Miss Majida? Hello, hi, I'm here. Yeah, can you share with us about your dive hard volunteer program experience? Sure. Uh, thank you for inviting me to share about my experience. Just really quickly, I'm a communication specialist and a community organizer. I work with women and vulnerable communities, and I'm really happy to have this opportunity to uh, be part of the Dive Heart community in Malaysia. Uh, to me, the best part of being uh, part of this movement is watching transformation that happens to everyone. Uh, and I remember how scared some of our differently abled divers are the first time when we meet them, uh, when they come to the pool with us uh, and getting into the water with us because uh, they are literally putting their lives and trusting their lives in the hands of strangers. Um, and I watched, uh, been able to watch how this fear turns into trust um, and it turns into friendship and more importantly, it turns into strength. Um, the adaptive divers that I've gotten the privilege to know um, are some of the strongest people I know. Like we met Aisha, who is an amputee, but she competes as a Paralympian. I got to know Mastura, who has cerebral palsy, but she has a PhD. Um, I got to meet uh, Susanna, who broke her spine in several places and was told the, that uh, you know she'd be bedridden for the rest of her life but she got into a wheelchair, onto a crutch, and onto a BCD wayside. And um, she told me that one day she's gonna walk again. So these are some of the strongest people I know. Um, and there's really no words to describe what uh, strength this is. And it's a privilege to have been able to see all of this. Along the way, we learn uh, that Dive Heart volunteers uh, ourselves that uh, we change too and we learn about kindness, we learn about empathy, about the realities of people who are differently able. Uh, about a year ago, I was able to meet uh, Gary. Uh, in one of the earlier videos, you met the uh, dive master who's deaf and mute. And I was determined to be able to communicate with him the next time we met. So for one year, um, I learned sign language and uh, in the recent dive heart, Ivan in um, Perhentian Island, I was able to communicate with him and it was a surprise for him. And it was a, a really wonderful experience. Uh, so much so that this year's volunteers, we've got them together and we are together going to learn sign language so that all of us are able to communicate with uh, future deaf and mute uh, communities that we work with in, uh, in, in Dive Heart events. Um, so thank you for inviting me to share my experience and it's been a really great part uh, great, a great experience being part of this. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Majida. And uh, we will, we would like to also uh, take the opportunity uh, to invite the. We have here uh, together with us the vice president of the uh, Tourism Malaysia in Los Angeles, Mr. Akbal. And uh, if he's uh, available, um, Mr. Akbal, we would like to invite you to say a few words. Hi, hi, Said. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think that was a, a very good presentation. And uh, for others also, thank you very much. Um, uh, I just want uh, I want have one thing to say. Uh, we are waiting uh, for our friends in the US and also in the Canada to uh, to come to Malaysia. Yeah, uh, and uh, please uh, make an arrangement. Uh, work together with a site because I believe the program that uh, are provided by site and the team and the rest of, of uh, Dive Hard and also uh, Kids Kuba would uh, allow you uh, to experience something uh, which are not common uh, to the diving world. Uh, so uh, from our site, uh, Tourism Malaysia, in the US and also in the Canada, we would like to offer uh, a, a type of cooperation. So if you have anything uh, that you want to work with us uh, uh, from the US and from Canada and going to Malaysia, as soon as the borders open, uh, please uh, uh, contact us. Uh, you may email 
uh, our team, uh, all my staff uh, directly, uh, Akbal uh, Setia, A-K-B-A-L-S-E-T-I-A at uh, tourism.gov.my. So uh, I shall wait for your emails and uh, we should work together. Uh, and please uh, make an arrangement to go to Malaysia soon. Thank you, Zaid. Thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, Mr. Akbal. And we also have the uh, one of the deputy director uh, for uh, Tourism Malaysia in uh, Putrajaya. Uh, and Yasmin, are you there? Hi, Syed. Uh, can you listen to me? Yes, yes, we are listening to you. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, thank you uh, for the presentations. It was very lovely. And I have the opportunity to join the team uh, during the last trip to Pulau, Pulau Perhentian. Uh, it was a very good experience for me. It's an eye-opener. And I believe that uh, it must be promoted more so that um, there will be more people who have the opportunity uh, to join the, the events and have a good experience. Uh, thank you so much, Syed. Uh, indirectly, you are promoting Malaysia. And we hope uh, to have more tourists uh, from the US and Canada to come to Malaysia. Uh, we welcome you to Malaysia. Selamat datang. Thank you, Said. Thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, Pony Yasmin from uh, Tourism Malaysia Putrajaya. She, oh, she is the deputy director overseeing the uh, US and Oceania counterpart. Uh, we have here as well, we'd like to invite uh, one of our special uh, community uh, diver, Mr. Jack. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, Said. Yeah, please uh, introduce yourself and say a few words about your experience with DIFA. Oh, um, thank you, Said. Um, my name is Jack Cole. I'm one of the beneficiaries of this DIFAR program. It's um, I'm through through all these wonderful people and friends. I mean, and the me to achieve their dreams of uh, diving. I can swim well, but I could never dive. I only started learning about five years ago when I was 60 years old. But through the encouragement of my wife and the wonderful people like Sai, I managed to get certified. And then through all these people, I get, get to explore all the wonderful dive sites of Malaysia. So I go diving with Sai every year in Sipadan. And we've been there four times and coming to be five times soon. And I encourage everyone to try it. I, 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 was, I had polio when I was five, so I can't walk uh, properly. I use crutches, but uh, there has, the, all this wonderful program has taught me how I can manage in the water. And it's truly a wonderful experience, which I'll continue until whenever. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, Jack, thank you very much. And to all uh, listeners and viewers, um, that was our presentation about Dive Heart in Malaysia and Borneo. Uh, myself, um, uh, together with Ernest, we would like to thank everyone for your support. And uh, we would also like to take this opportunity to thank our friends in making this possible. University of Malaysia Trunganu, University of Malaya Medical Center Rehabilitation Medicine Unit, UMMC. Special thank you note to Prof. Uh, Dato Dr. Zaleha and Prof. Nazira uh, from uh, University of Malaya Medical Center. Tourism Malaysia, thank you very much. Uh, Paddy, Asia Pacific Office, Australia. Volunteers of Kids Scuba Dive Team. BNJ Dive Center, Tioman Island. Bono Divers Marble Resort, B. Uh, Sabah. Premier Marine Scuba Center, Kuching, Sarawak. Uh, the magazines that has always assisted us. Dive Log, Australia Magazine. X-Ray, Mac Denmark, Emirates Diving Association, EDA Mac Dubai. Karen Franks of Kids Kuba and not forgetting some of the lovely resorts in Trunganu. Uh, to everyone, um, we will end this session now. Um, if anybody has questions, uh, we are open. Before we end the program. Oh, uh, sorry, can I say something? Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, for those of you who maybe have some questions later about uh, dive up programs or about Malaysia, uh, or maybe you may miss out some information here. You, if you look at the bottom of the screen right now, you can see uh, that is site's uh, contact number. 
you can contact him through WhatsApp if you if you need to. Yeah. Okay, that's about it. Uh, again, thank you very much for all your participation, your time, and also the uh, special thanks to the Vice President of Tourism Malaysia Office in Los Angeles, Jack Bal, uh, our, our special volunteers, uh, Ms. Majida and uh, Mr. Jack, thank you very much. And also uh, our thanks to Mr. Ernest from Dive Heart Borneo. They have a wonderful team there. All right, to everyone, um, uh, in 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 outside Malaysia, outside Asia. Good good evening, good night, and in Malaysia, uh, selamat tengah hari. We are due for lunch now. <laughs> Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for the presentation. Good, good night.